This is Twit. Uh, Risa on the line from Riverside, California. Hello, Risa. Hello. Can you hear me okay? I hear you great. What's up? Oh, I'm uh, wondering how uh, I can get a hold of a amateur radio license. Oh, what a great hobby. You want to be a ham, eh? Uh, yeah. <laughs> you don't get a hold of them. You got you got to take a test for them. But the good news is, in fact, we had a ham on uh, last week who's doing the testing online. So the first thing you want, you're going to want to do a little studying. There's three levels of license. There's the technician license, which is fairly easy to get. There's a general license, which is a little more advanced. That's the one I have. And then if you're really really into it you get an advanced license that i haven't taken that test it's pretty hard but the idea is with each ad, ad, advance you get more uh, capabilities more things you can do for a lot of people the basic technician license is is fine it gives you access to handy talkies to uh two meter band which is uh, kind of a local transmission what do you want to do with your ham radio license well, I'm disabled in a wheelchair, and uh, I can't really get out any place or visit with anybody. Yeah, this would be great. This, but this, it's a whole social life for you. Yes, I, I've been a CBer, but uh, there isn't a lot of CB activity around here. I think I can. Could I? I cannot recommend this more highly. I think this is really a great idea. Uh, I'm going to recommend my good friend Gordon West who uh, has a website, gordonwestradioschool.com. Uh, I used his books to study up. They're really good. He Actually, uh, because I, I, I do better with audio than I do with reading, learning something. So I got his cassettes, which were excellent. Uh, I think we probably can download them now <laughs> these days. But you can uh, listen to uh, Gordo's uh, uh, training, and I think you could get ready in a week to take the technician license and it, not even much many more weeks of study to get the uh, uh, general license. Try to start with technician. Then, of course, you have to get a radio. And one of the reasons the basic license is good is because the handy talkie radios are very uh, relatively inexpensive. And I think if you're used to CBing, you'll feel very at home with those because they're portable. You can... You know, just have them. You could attach it to your chair. Just pull it out. It charges up. It's 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 a battery powered, and you can talk to people in your area. But there's even more ways you can do it. A lot of times, um, let me see where you're calling from. River said, "Oh yeah, there's repeaters down there, uh, and you could easily get all the way around the world with just uh, your handy talkie." So I think that's a great idea. Great idea, Risa. Mm -hmm. Highly Very recommend. It. Yeah, Very it's it's a you know it's a hobby. Uh, that it has almost infinite depth once you start getting into it. There's all sorts of things you can do. Uh, Morse code is something I've been kind of, amb you know, that's my, my, my dream at some point to sit down and start studying Morse code. There's moon bounce. You can actually bounce a signal off of the moon. Uh, there's long distance listening. They call it DXing, where you try to see how far away you can get a signal from. A lot of people co collect QSL cards. Those are the postcards that you send out. When you hear a signal or you talk to somebody, you said, send me a, send me a QSL, a written confirmation that we talked. And you'll see a lot of people in their ham shacks or their little corner have dozens of postcards from all over the world of people they've talked to. I think it's one of the most... You'll, one of the things you'll find, Risa, is it's a welcoming hobby. That amateur radio enthusiasts are you know, so <laughs> glad to have you join the hobby. I think it's a really great idea. You might even be able to talk to the International Space Station if you time it right. There have been hams up there. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Yeah. Really Wouldn't that be neat? Yeah. See, in a way, uh, nowadays, even if you have no mobility or low mobility, thanks to the Internet, things like ham radio, the world is still out there. It's still available. And with ham, you'll find hundreds of people all over the world who can't wait to talk to you. So it's a really great it's a really great hobby. I think you're on the exact right track, Risa. Oh, I should give a little plug, one more plug. Because <laughs> we have a show all about ham radio. Gordo is one of the hosts. It's called Ham Nation. And you can go back and listen to past episodes 
Uh, Bob Heil, my good friend Bob Heil, is the other host. They have a bunch of people. It's uh, If you want to listen to past episodes, it's on our website, twit.tv slash hn for Ham Nation Twit, which is my podcast network this week in tech, twit.tv slash hn for Ham Nation. And uh, they're, I, they're up to episode 478. So uh, you could spend a lot of time <laughs> listening to those. And it's all learning. There's audio and video. might be worth seeing the video because they... Uh, they um, uh, have lots of segments on how to do things like make antennas. Uh, George does their great smoke and solder segment, which is all about putting together equipment and so forth. Uh, what you, it is, I yeah, couldn't I couldn't encourage you more. And I think every ham there with a number of hams who uh, listen to the show, every ham listening to the show will agree it is the most convivial, friendly bunch of people. You will find a home reason. Yeah. If I might ask, what is your call sign? Uh, W6TWT. It's a vanity call sign. Remember, Twit's my network, so W6TWT. Whiskey 6, Tango, Whiskey Tango. But I don't I don't get uh, on the air very often because I'm doing the radio all the time and I don't want to talk when I get home. So, <laughs> But I suspect when I retire, whenever that is, I'll, I'll miss talking and I'll probably... <laughs> I'll probably spend a little time uh, on the airwaves uh, transmitting. I have a lot of equipment, a lot of gear. I have to set up my uh, ham shack. Um, but I, you, when you get your uh, license, it's easy to get. I think you could have it a week from now if you if you put your mind to it. Uh, call back and uh, tell the world so that they know to listen listen for you. Okay? GordonWestRadio.com Gordon West Radio School. School. Dot com. But if you just Google Gordon West Radio School, you'll find it right away. He's a great guy. And the, the books and tools he offers there are very good. But I have to say, um, the, that show also has a lot of information. GordonWestRadioSchool.com or twit.tv slash HN. Reza, have fun. And then I'll tell you one of the things we say in ham radio after we uh, speak. We say 7-3, which means best regards. Okay, W six T W T seven three to you, Reza. I'll see you on the airwaves. D H right back. All right. Oh, you maybe spend a little time in the. Well, you're a C B guy. Okay, I got it. Eighty eight eighty eight. Ask Leo. That's the phone number. <laughs> breaker breaker one nine. We got us a convoy. That's all I know. Our sh <laughs> I forgot about the C B stuff.